All right, let's talk about your friend and our mutual friend, your uh, Donald Trump. Uh, you've known Donald Trump for a very long time, and it's coached in some African country, Burkina Faso, and and the rest. And then he came to Nigeria at a time where we had not qualified for the Nations Cup for two years, and then he showed up. But since then, he's really not found that love from the fans. And what I mean is. There is always the issue of his playing pattern, the team is not playing properly, was struggling to win. Small countries like Central African Republic comes to Nigeria to beat us. Cape Verde comes here to get a draw. Nigeria took a 4 goal lead against Sierra Leone in Nigeria and it ended in a 4-4 draw. Uh, what do you know about Ghana draw? And looking at his result from Nigeria, and as a man who's covered the African Nations Cup and also know Nigeria very well, what can you say about the time of Ghana draw as a coach of the Super Eagles? Uh, well, I, I know him for a long time. Uh, he has had a lot of experience as a player uh, with Zero Down Bordeaux. Uh, he even played uh, with Bayern Munich before. And uh, he has had a very good coach uh, in Bordeaux with uh, Emi Jacquet, uh, who, who won the World Championship in uh, 98. And uh, he is very experienced in Africa. Uh, but I know that uh, Nigeria is, is special because of the big country, of the crowd you have in Lagos and Abuja. Uh, but uh, the problem is to have a balance in, in the team. Uh, I think in former times, uh, Nigeria had better players with uh, JJ Okocha and all these guys who won the Olympic title in uh, 96 in Atlanta. I think uh, that, that was the best team Nigeria had in former times. And now, he is obliged to find uh, good players and uh, at first balanced players. Um, I think uh, there are some problems to have good players in defense and in, in midfield because I don't see any playmaker like Okocha in this team. Uh, even if there is uh, a strength in attack with, with good strikers, with, uh, with goal getters uh, like Ozingen, Ianacho, uh, Igalo. Uh, but the problem is to create a good system, a balanced system. And the problem for every national coach is that he don't have the time to, to train a lot with his team. So uh, he is very busy and there is a lack of time to create his own system with the Eagles. Okay, so let's talk about, you know, you going out to the, the league and watching the Bundesliga. Uh, and let's talk about African players in the German Bundesliga he beats. Give me your own notes. Let's compare notes. Now, give me your own notes of African players, Nigerian players in the Bundesliga and how you rate them. Well, we, we have had uh, a lot of good African players in, in Bundesliga, uh, also Nigerian players, as you know. Uh, but at first, uh, you must know it, in Bundesliga everything is very disciplined. That's not, not so good for African players, because they, they like to have fun when they are playing soccer. But... Uh, the problem is also because of, of language, because uh, African, African players are, are speaking English or French, and uh, German is another language. So it's, it's difficult to learn the language, to contact with the coach, to contact with the other players. But uh, even if this is a big problem, uh, we have uh, good African players in, in Germany, like for example, uh, in this moment, uh, the Nigerian Aruniji. Yeah, Taiwan. Uh, 
Well, uh, he's, he's a very good player, he's a very good striker, and he is, uh, he is good for uh, Union Berlin because uh, he's, he's a very good striker, very fast, very strong, and uh, he's very successful at this moment. One of, one of the best strikers we have in Bundesliga. Okay. Uh, what do you have to say about uh, Akpoguma, Kelvin Akpoguma as a defender? Well, uh, I know that he started his uh, international career with, with Gernot now. Uh, he's very talented to, as a defender. Uh, normally, in my point of view, he's a central defender. And now he's playing on the right wing as a fullback. Uh, but I don't know if this is the right position for him. Uh, he decided to play for Nigeria because uh, I think uh, he knew that in Germany he had no chance to, to enter the national team. But uh, he, he's a very good guy, uh, intelligent guy. And I think for a Nigerian team, he's a very good player because uh, he's useful in all defensive positions. Okay, so let's break down the Nigerian team a bit. Uh, earlier on, you said that uh, we have forward players, but there is no balance in the team. When you say that, what do you mean? We have midfielders like uh, Wilfred Ndidi, we have Alexi Wobi, we have... Um, what's it called, uh, Joe Aribu, Ogana Kairo Itebo, and even in defense, we have Kevin Akpoguma, Leon Balogu, Trust Ekong, uh, Ola Ino, Chidoze Awazim, as a veteran of the African Nations Cup. Are you saying that these players are not good enough for Ghana to to mold a team that can go on and win the African Nations Cup? I think it's, uh, it's a question of time. Uh, if, if they will have uh, stages to to, to train with the team, uh, it will be better. Uh, as you saw, the last uh, championship in, in Russia, uh, I think Nigeria performed uh, very good. Uh, and I, I know that uh, Gernot is, is very proud that uh, Iga, Iga Mo turns back to the team because uh, in my point of view, he's a very important player, very skillful player, and uh, I, I would say he, he's a good guy because he can lead the team. And uh, for me, it's it's very important uh, to have leaders in the team. So uh, I I think uh, the team of Eagles are very skillful. But uh, they they must prove that they can be better. And uh, as I know, every every match in Africa is difficult. Uh, when you are playing abroad, uh, it's very difficult uh, because Nigeria is uh, one of the biggest uh, countries in, in African soccer, and uh, everyone wants to win against Nigeria. Uh, That's true. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's normal. It's like like for Germany in, in Europe. Uh, but uh, I I think uh, Gernot is on a on a good way with the team, uh, and you must have confidence to Gernot. 